goes as promised I have a second video for you all and um, yes I just finished recording the uh, AK-74 Scout uh, AR to DMR conversion rifle review but I want to go ahead and record this one this is a short little video where we talk about why should you use a sniper rifle over a DMR and vice versa there is there are a few reasons why and it's mostly tied to skills so let, let's pull up my skills here I have every single skill um, on the tree um, so first off if you're playing sharpshooter class which I am right now um, you get bonuses with sniper rifles and DMRs that's your reload time bonus that's it um, so you get nothing special there. You know, you got Panther class, gets suppressors on handguns and submachine guns, do not reduce damage. That's nice. But anyway, there is one skill in particular that I want to point out here. And that is Rolling Thunder. You may think this is only useful for drones, but you got to notice plus 20% weapon damage. Not just to drones. You get an additional 20% damage to drones. But it's only while using a sniper rifle. You do not get these bonuses on a DMR or any other weapon. It's only when using the sniper rifle class. And I've tested this. It is true. This bonus only applies to sniper rifles. <clears throat> so, really, if you want to do the most damage be the heaviest hitting sniper you can be you want to go with the sniper rifle and, that, and this isn't the only reason you know, uh, other things to take in mo uh, keep into consideration is sniper rifles tend to have greater range now my TAC 50 here is a little crazy let's see I have an HCI here that does not have a range boost okay so I'm gonna grab that and we're gonna pair it to a G28 here. Now G28 has pretty darn good range. Let's compare it to Scorpio Scout. Now this one has a boost of range too, but uh, but typically your sniper rifles will have longer range overall especially in the case like the TAC-50. I mean, the TAC-50 is just one of the best long-range rifles in the game because it has such a great range set. It has the least amount of bullet drop. Now, there's a lot of, you know, I, I've been asked, but, Will, why does range matter so much if you just know where the bullet's going to land? You know, that is actually a great question. Here is the clear and simple answer. Let's say that I am, let's find a, okay, let's just pretend that that window there is, uh, is actually an open window that I can take a shot through. If I'm up, up, and away here, at a distance of 500, 550 meters, depending on where my enemy is, the amount I have to compensate, if he's like, not right up against the window, but past it, if I'm shooting through the window and it's a larger building, like if I'm shooting, in fact, actually, gotta be careful. Let's say I'm shooting this way the other side of the building from a long range the more I have to compensate I may end up actually hitting up here rather than here when trying to get a shot here okay so that is one of the most important reasons for having low as low bullet drop as you can imagine or uh, manage it, it, it gives you so much more power overall that you really just there's no reason 
not to roll it because the other stats are not that useful that you can roll. You know, you get damage to drones. That one's always going to be important. You want that on any weapon you can get, aside from maybe a pistol. I mean, I guess you want to try and take drones with a pistol, you could, but mm, wouldn't necessarily recommend it. But anyway. Damage of drones, your most important. Range for sniper rifles and DMRs. If it's your primary long-range rifle, you want as much range stat as possible. Because when you're shooting at 500, 550 meters, you may have those challenging shots where your compensation ends up causing your bullet to have to go much... It, 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 it would... The trajectory would not be there, where you wouldn't be able to actually hit it. Now it's very, 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 very rare that that would happen. Very rare. But it can happen. Um, in fact, it, it's exceedingly rare. Like, the example case I gave here is not really realistic, because that would imply that the bullet, you know, will drop a foot in, you know... 10 meters, which is not the case. But you do have instances where there's debris, where there's trees. Trees are such a big part of this landscape, in case you didn't notice. And you've got these ones with long gangly limbs, not in this area as much, of course, but they are there. So reducing your bullet drops is important. And sniper rifles will tend to have the best bullet drop. They have the highest damage, and they have the rolling thunder skill damage boost. That is why when you're doing your long range shots and wanting to get maximum power from your long range shooting, you should be using a sniper rifle over a DMR. Now, if you're like me, when I roll my Panther class, I don't use a sniper rifle. I utilize the uh, Scorpio Scout. And I don't use Rolling Thunder. In fact, I will show you exactly how I equip for that right now. And first, I'm going to make sure I don't have this selected. There we go. Go back to my G28. I actually need to switch back to it so I can de-equip some, uh, some junk uh, so I can sell it or dismantle it rather. So I'm going to tactics here switch to panther <clears throat> and there we go did that do it? did I switch? yeah okay okay bread camp Alright, so, you know, we've talked about this, and first, switch you back, switch my equipment back here the way it should be. Yeah, there we go, because automatic marking is not useful to me at all. I'm going to go ahead and dismantle this sucker, and then, oh, wait, why did I do that? I want the, uh, vector, there we go, okay, so, anyway. Here's my, what I roll for my Panther class. Ballistic Advantage, which is, <laughs> you know, another great uh, sniper skill because of the insane range boost. But I also run Slim Shadow and Sensor Hack because of the boost to evasion and, and, and everything. You know, you, you, uh, for obvious reasons, it's Panther class. But, um... Yeah, I don't run Rolling Thunder here because I'm not doing lots of long-range stuff. When I'm doing my long-range shooting, I'm just taking out a few personnel. And Scorpio Scout is a great anti-personnel rifle just because it's got great high damage. Um, and, and it's just overall a, a nice rifle. See, I don't even roll damage to drones on that because I'm rarely taking drones with Scorpio Scout. I actually... um. Uh, 
I plan on rolling up, um, I want the range boost, but other than that, I may do, um, something like marking, or I may do, um, mobility. Mobility is great for Panther class in general. But yeah, so, and that, overall, is why, if you're going to play a sharpshooter class, and want to actually do long-range shots, you should be using a sniper rifle for your long-range shots because of the potential boost. It's not saying I couldn't r roll the same setup and roll Rolling Thunder here and a sniper rifle on my Panther class, but then I'm bypassing the benefits of the Panther, boosting my stealth and everything else along with it gives the Panther an edge. And so then it makes sense to roll a DMR because the enhanced mobility and everything else that goes along with that, you know. Uh, so, yeah, okay. That's all I got for you, ghosts. Thanks a bunch for watching. Don't forget to check out my website, classicwfell.com, for my art, music, photography, and all my other videos are there, and you can search for them and everything. If you're interested in a particular topic, rifle, review, or anything, on breakpoint, odds are you will be able to find it there uh, as it relates to snipers and sniper gameplay. So, uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and everything else. Comment and let me know what other type of stuff you might like to see. None of that, if you're lucky, maybe you'll see me in Erewhon.